This is Matt from Hologram Electronics, and today we're going to build a sound on Chroma Console from scratch. So here is our dry signal. It's a Fender Mustang going into a Milkman amp sim in Logic. Nothing else in the chain. All right, let's engage the pedal, and first thing I'm going to do is turn the mix knob all the way up. We recommend starting there and mixing in dry signal to taste, but I'm probably gonna, just going to leave the mix knob up the entire time. Okay, let's use sweeten, put both of those knobs at 50%. Now this is going to be a gentle compressor, and uh, let's hear, maybe let's hear before and after again. So... <laughs> Right, so it's just kind of smoothing out those transient peaks a little bit. And when we turn the amount knob all the way up. We've got some subtle saturation as well. So I'm going to put that kind of back where we had it, maybe a little bit less. Actually, no, let's leave it at 50%. Okay, now let's use cassette, which is going to have more compression, saturation, and modulation. up all the way, see what that sounds like. Right, more heavily modulated, more saturation, some more stereo effects introduced there. Let's leave that at 50%. Okay, let's use phaser, put both of these at 50%. I'm going to turn the rate down because I like that sound and turn the amount knob up a hair. Right, a nice quote unquote chewy phaser, if you will. Cool, I like that. Let's go to reels now, which is our tape delay. Okay, let's hear what that sounds like. Now time is going to increase the delay time. And amount is going to increase the delay feedback. Intersecondary, turn up drift, which is gonna add extra modulation to the delay. You can hear that, it sounds, the delay line is kind of a little bit more saturated as though the tape has aged or degraded. There's also some additional stereo stuff going on there. Some kind of fluttering there. I'm gonna turn that down to 50 and I'm gonna leave secondary. Cool. So right now the signal is flowing from sweeten into phaser into tape delay, reels, and then into cassette. But I'm going to enter effect setup. We see that module order displayed. I'm gonna choose the tape delay first and then I want the tape delay trails to be modulated by phaser. So I'll select phaser. I want both of those to kind of be subtly compressed by sweeten. And then I want to run all of that into cassette. Okay, Let's see what that sounds like. So I've got it configured in dual bypass so that when I press the bypass foot switch, it turns on and off phaser and reels. And it works with trails as well. So if I play, you hear that still decaying. It's helpful for kind of bringing it in in different parts of the song. So let's just hear sweeten and cassette together again. And then we'll bring in phaser and uh, our tape delay. some more dimension. <laughs> 